What is up, everybody? This is Easy History Gaming. Got a pretty cool video coming at you. We had a situation after the last server war. We had several guys in server 323 that needed. There was an event going on, and we needed to deplete 800,000 power from an, another player. So we decided to cooperate with each other, myself and. Uh, Panther, who's in the who's in another clan, uh, opposite horror than I am. So we decided to attack each other, uh, and we organized it to where we would lose exactly the power we needed, and the attacker would have minimal losses or no losses. I had no losses at all when I when I attacked. So trading power, it's uh, it's kind of risky and it's a little bit expensive. I think I spent four million of three or four different resources to to heal all my troops. And uh, I'll explain exactly what we did, because this could be a good alternative to blasting away at your at your server. There's a lot of delicate servers out there that, during barbarian war or during server war, it might be beneficial for everyone to cooperate and trade off power. This may seem like a cheat, but it's it's not. It's just a, a way to cooperatively uh, gain. Uh, so in order, our goal was to reach at least 800,000 power loss. What we decided to do was, uh, through some advice from some other guys in the in the server, is uh, to send out 35k, 35,000. That seems like a lot. T4. That's what we sacrificed. 35,000. We and we sent it to a resource that was on our color tile. Uh, then. The other person would attack. He attacked with, I think, 250,000. Uh, looked look like 260,000 troops. He lost about a thousand of them. Uh, now I lost 1.2 million power, but all of mine went to the hospital, so I was able to heal 100% of the power back. So and this is what I spent on it. If you can read that fast, it's almost a miracle. <laughs> So what we did to ensure that we had minimal losses was because we had 35,000 troops that we had to lose in order to reach our goal of uh, right over a million that we ended up getting. You have to send these full marches. Uh, now if, you, if you're if you sending T4s, and at the end of the video I'm going to explain a kind, a kind of what T1, T2, 3, and 4 will do. So if you're sending out 35,000 T4, you're going to have to send out about 250, 260,000 T4. So you have zero losses. You, you don't want to attack on neutral territory. Because then you'll have people that will die. And, and now, if you were reading that, not only did I get the event points, but I also got the healing supplies and all that that you get when you get attacked. You get that once a week, so don't do this every other day because you won't be able to uh, get the healing supplies. So, something else. This was a pretty easy uh, thing to do. We just cooperated with each other. Uh, he uh, he attacked something. He collected on his territory. I, I attacked him. Sent his guys to the hospital. He attacked me on something I was gathering on my territory. Sent my guys to the hospital. The attackers on both cases, I had zero losses. He had like a thousand. So there's really no losses on the offensive side. And it was just uh, it was just too easy to, to to do. And I think it's something that might help a lot of people. So some tips. Remember, um, if you're doing this in barbarian war. You could have people that are watching you, so if they see you cooperating with someone from the other clan, they may want to attack you. Hide your troops. Before I sent my 35,000 out, I had all, I had like a million something T4, so I had to hide them in like five different marches. So make sure you hide all your troops. Uh, try to use T3 and T4 because of how many T2 or T1 you'd have to use. And T, if just so you guys know, is tier, that the, the tiers are the ranks of the troops. And what I wanted to do, because it had to be explained to me exactly how many troops to send. And there's actually numbers in-game that you can look at. And uh, if you know what you're looking at, it, it tells you a lot. I've been looking at this stuff for now a year, and I really didn't understand where, all, where, where it all went or how it all affected the gameplay. Um, but now I have a better understanding of it. I asked about 50 questions, probably about 30 too many. <laughs> And it's odd too, the way the developers make the game. Now, here's the attack. I know on screen, I don't. I didn't really explain it because I suck at this. But on screen, 
right now panther is actually collecting that this is me coming down and remember when you're attacking go for a full attack i had the i had my dino which i think that may have killed people i don't know uh i don't know i think i went to the hospital anyway but um uh, then i then i had the, i sw switched my runes around so it would boost my shaman attack and then i actually boosted my um total number of troops that i had uh also with runes so you switch your runes around make sure you have an attack uh based um rune ward i think they're called and uh get your attack up as high as possible because you don't want to lose troops you are attacking on another color so whatever you lose you lose you 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 know those troops die meanwhile you're sending him to the hospital and he can heal up back to full health so you want to try to use a lot more than they have if you're going to try to trade off power like this you can and you don't want to use a T3 or T4. Where you can actually go and check out each of the troops. I'm sure it can be done with T5. If you want to heal a T5. Remember, you got to heal this stuff too. So there is a, a benefit from it. But there's also, you know, you have to heal from it. And um, I wanted to mention, I think I have it in embedded in some of the directions at the end. Um, how important having a bank is. And... So yeah, here's the last, here was the last stat. Now, if you notice, we both lost 1.2 million. We both were able to gain that right back. We both got all the event points. So let's check out some of this stuff on on these different troops. First, the power. Uh, each tier one troop adds two to your total power. So as you're as you're cooking these these guys up, it doesn't matter which troop it is. They all add two power. So if you make a hundred of them, that may, that adds 200 power to your actual power score like the, the power that you have if you have 7 million and you only have t2s well you've made a lot of t2s <laughs> and i wanted to show all the different t1s you notice that they all have the same power but the load is different now what you what the load is is the amount of resources one troop can gather and carry we've all seen that 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 the warriors do a lot better job than any other, other troops and it's not it's not a little better they're a lot better their t1s have a 13 load compared to the t1 of a wolf rider which is only a was that a five i need glasses and a magnifying glasses yeah a five so it's 13 they get 13 they have a five uh i believe the shaman they have a six now they do have some benefits at the t1 their speed is incredible and i know i'm jumping around a little bit but look at the load on the t5 these are T5s, the strongest as they can be, and their load's 15, two over what the T1 warrior is. T1 warrior has 13 loads, so he's he's gathering so much better. This this is a really strong indication that you may want to build a lot of T1 warriors to, to do all your farming for you. T2s drop down on their load to 10. Uh, now their defense, their attack, and their health goes up a couple notches. T3s, their load is 13, so it's the same as a T1 which is uh interesting now the consumption i think everyone knows what the consumption is it's the amount of meat that they eat per day uh meat's very plentiful but when you have a million troops and they're eating three or four meat a day it really adds up fast now that very top number the power that's remember that's what that's what you're adding to your actual power once these troops are completed their training is completed so if you cook up, uh, let's say a thousand of these T4 berserkers, then that's uh, thirty-six thousand you're going to add to your power. Is that right? Something like that. T5s they have sixty power. Their load they finally topple the T1s. Their load is at twenty. Their consumption rate is five. And look at the speed. <laughs> T5s, they travel at the pace of your great-great-grandfather. <laughs> and that was not in his youth. That was in his elder days. Don't miss the next video. We got something. I'm, I'm going to show everyone how I pick these teams in the partner arena. And I, I found a feature in uh, YouTube that I can actually conduct surveys. So we'll be able to vote on certain things. And I think next video we'll be voting on um, something. I don't know what it's going to be. But I know you don't want to miss it. Thanks everyone for watching.
subscribe to Easy Street Gaming if you haven't subscribed already. Um, I want to say thanks to all the all the people that have been that have subscribed and has participated in the past few videos. Thanks everyone, really appreciate you. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.